The QRS complex is a name for the combination of three of the graphical deflections seen on a typical electrocardiogram. It is usually the central and most visually obvious part of the tracing. It corresponds to the depolarization of the right and left ventricles of the human heart. In adults, it normally lasts 0.06 euro 0.10 s. In children and during physical activity, it may be shorter. Typically an ECG has five deflections, arbitrarily named P to T waves. The Q, R, and S waves occur in rapid succession, do not all appear in all leads, and reflect a single event, and thus are usually considered together. A Q wave is any downward deflection after the P wave. An A wave follows as an upward deflection, and the S wave is any downward deflection after the A wave. The T wave follows the S wave, and in some cases an additional E wave follows the T wave. Etiology The His perk hinge specialized muscle cells coordinate the depolarization of both ventricles nearly simultaneously. If they are working efficiently, the QRS complex is 80 to 120 milliseconds in duration. This is represented by three small squares or less at the standard paper speed of 25 mm per second. Any abnormality of conduction takes longer and causes widened QRS complexes. In bundle branch block, there can be an abnormal second upward deflection within the QRS complex, in this case such a second upward deflection is referred to as R. This would be described as an Aressa pattern. Ventricles contain more muscle mass than the atria, therefore the QRS complex is considerably larger than the P wave. The QRS complex is often used to determine the axis of the electrocardiogram, although it is also possible to determine a separate P wave axis. The duration, amplitude, and morphology of the QRS complex are useful in diagnosing cardiac arrhythmias, conduction abnormalities, ventricular hypertrophy, myocardial infarction, electrolyte derangements, and other disease states. Parameters The QRS complex is also included in estimating the QT interval. Q wave, normal Q waves, when present, represent depolarization of the interventricular septum. For this reason, they are referred to as septal Q waves and can be appreciated in the lateral leads I, AVL, V5 and V6. Pathologic Q waves occur when the electrical signal passes through stunned or scarred myocardium. As such, they are usually markers of previous myocardial infarcations, with subsequent fibrosis. A pathologic Q wave is defined as having a deflection amplitude of 25% or more of the subsequent A wave, or being greater than 0.04 s in width and greater than 2 m in amplitude. However, Diagnosis requires the presence of this pattern in more than one corresponding lead. A wave progression Looking at the precordial leads, the A wave usually progresses from showing a S type complex in V1 with an increasing R and a decreasing S wave when moving towards the left side. There is usually an QR type of complex in V5 and V6 with the A wave amplitude usually taller in V5 than in V6. It is normal to have a narrow QS and RS R patterns in V1 and so is also the case for QRS and R patterns in V5 and V6. The transition zone is where the QRS complex changes from predominantly negative to predominantly positive, and this usually occurs at V3 or V4. It is normal to have the transition zone at V2, and at V5. In biomedical engineering, the maximum amplitude in the A wave is usually called R peak amplitude, or just a peak. Accurate R peak detection is essential in signal processing equipment for heart rate measurement and it is the main feature used for arrhythmia detection. The definition of poor R wave progression varies in the literature, but a common one is when the R wave is less than 2 a euro 4 m and leads V3 or V4 and or there is presence of a reversed R wave progression, which is defined as R in V4, R in V3 or R in V3, R in V2 or R in V2, R in V1, or any combination of these. Poor A wave progression is commonly attributed to anterior myocardial infarction, but it may also be caused by left bundle branch block, Wolf Euro Parkinson Euro White syndrome, right and left ventricular hypertrophy, as well as by faulty ECG recording technique. J point, the point at which the QRS complex meets the street segment, is known as the J point. 
the J point is easy to identify when the street segment is horizontal and forms a sharp angle with the last part of the QRS complex. However, when the street segment is sloped or the QRS complex is wide, the two features do not form a sharp angle and the location of the J point is less clear. There is no consensus on the precise location of the J point in these circumstances. Two possible definitions are the first point of inflection of the upstroke of the S wave, the point at which the ECG trace becomes more horizontal than vertical. Monomorphic or polymorphic, monomorphic refers to all QRS waves in a single lead being similar in shape. Polymorphic means that the QRS change from complex to complex. These terms are used in the description of ventricular tachycardia. Terminology Not every QRS complex contains a Q wave, an O wave, and an S wave. By convention, any combination of these waves can be referred to as a QRS complex. However, correct interpretation of difficult ECGs requires exact labeling of the various waves. Some authors use lowercase and capital letters, depending on the relative size of each wave. For example, an RS complex would be positively deflected, while an RS complex would be negatively deflected. If both complexes were labeled RS, it would be impossible to appreciate this distinction without viewing the actual ECG. Algorithms A common algorithm used for QRS complex detection is the Pan Tompkins algorithm. Another is based on the Hilbert transform. Numerous other algorithms have been proposed and investigated. See also, Electrophysiology, References